This is Twit. Your arm is leaning on your next acquisition, I think, Alex. Uh, yeah, it, it's. I, I was just waiting for you to look away. A- Apple has an interesting conundrum. They they uh, right now. They don't have a whole lot of high-end hardware. They the Mac right. Pro is is on the back burner probably till next year. They've got an iMac Pro, but there's no room in there for a fancy Nvidia 1080 Ti or one of the new Nvidia cards. These laptops, absolutely not. Discrete graphics are in here, but you can't put anything too heavy duty. So they've done something interesting. And I think even in the Windows world, you're starting to see this external graphics processors, and they only made sense when Thunderbolt 3 came along, because Thunderbolt 3 has finally enough throughput, 40 gigabits a second, that they could actually, what, they, 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 they go out, they send the process to a GPU externally, and then it sends the data back? Is that how it yeah, works? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically like being on the board, except that it's not on the board. Right. It's fast, you finally have that connection, and the, the big advantage is, is now you can have a laptop, you can, have, you can do your laptop stuff when you're traveling, you come home, and you have the power of a desktop. Right. I mean, that's the real opportunity, and it, it, you know, if the app applications will are able to take advantage of the eGPU. E For $700, Apple sells this. They sell it exclusively. It was designed by Blackmagic. It has a very Apple-y look. This is the Blackmagic eGPU. And you can see absolutely that that's the use case they anticipate because as much as it, this is an eGPU, it's a dock, right? Right. It has three USB 3. Point, or four USB 3.1 ports. It's got two Thunderbolt 3 ports, a full-size HDMI connector, uh, and power. So I can basically have this all plugged in, have my keyboard, mouse, and monitor all hooked up, and then I put my laptop down. The laptop just plugs in with a short Thunderbolt 3 cable. And, and now, now you're powering the laptop and you're charging well, powering it and everything. connecting it to everything in the room right, and every, right. everything you need. Yeah. So I can see the, uh, in fact, that's the main reason I got this. I thought, well, this will be great for uh, the studio when I get in with my laptop. I just plug it in and it's ready to go. We can put it on the air and everything. Uh, I found this to be a, a really pretty nice an elegant device doesn't get too hot it does offload the gpu but it has a disadvantage it is unupgradable it's it this is a 580 in here and that's all that'll ever be in here and in, in uh, a uh, amd 580 radeon a graphics processor the laptop i got has an external and a uh, discrete gpu as well this has the 560 inside uh, now we can do the same thing with this this is the razor eGPU. they call this uh, the Razer X, and what's interesting about this is uh, the Recore X, I should say, is it supports upgradability. You can open it. In fact, it's really cool to open it up. I guess I probably shouldn't do it while it's on, but there's a little handle on the back. You just pull it right out. There's one big slot. You can put anything you want in here. You can even put, if you're using Windows machines, NVIDIA cards. There's room for it. It's a PCI Express slot. Uh, the reason I say if you're using a Windows machine is the drivers for Apple and NVIDIA... <laughs> Don't, don't Apple doesn't yeah, officially support NVIDIA, That's right? correct. That's correct. Why is that, Alex? Well, the, the, the big issue is, is that the operating system, the, the OS X operating system, um, really focuses heavily on uh, GPU, or, or OpenGL, and now, and now Metal, and so on and so forth. And so the, the, the issue that Apple has is that there's so much of their operating system needs the graphics processor that they want to write all the drivers. NVIDIA you know, to get the maximum performance, they want to write all the drivers. And they just right. never have been able to get... You know, eight, they couldn't get together, They huh? couldn't get together. A ATI was like, yeah, you can do whatever you want. And, and NVIDIA was like, no. And so, um, so what you end up with is... Let me turn this off and show you, because I really want to show you how easy this is. We'll unplug everything. And it has a, just a handle on the back. You can see right here. And there's no tools. There's no screws. It just slides yeah. right out. That's what it's, we wish is every computer. Everything should be this yeah, exactly. easy, right? It's got a big fan on it. This is the Razer Core... Uh, do you think it's X or 10? What are we, I'm going to say 10, right? Uh, maybe it's X. This is a big, you can see the big Sapphire card in here, and it's got its own uh, fan. So there's plenty of cooling going on. PCI Express slot, a single slot, though. So you'd have to have a, there are GPUs that have dual slots, right? You can only run one card in here. But it is very easy to upgrade. It'd be a, a simple thing to pull this out. Power supply is uh, pretty hefty. Let's see, I have the specs here. 650 watts, ATX. Um, so it can really power almost any card that you can put into that, it. That's a lot of wattage. Remember, of course, if you're powering the laptop, 100 watts thereabouts will go to the laptop. Thunderbolt mm -hmm. 3 only supports 100 watt charging, but that's enough for a MacBook mm -hmm. Pro. Um, it's a PCI Express times 16, so it's got a lot of channels right. on here. That's good. So for any modern card, this is a Sapphire Pulse Radeon. RX. They said they sent a 580. 
It's not. It's identifying as a 570. I don't know if that's a problem with the software or what, but it's identifying as a 570. Uh, this is a pretty fast card. But what was interesting is it's identifying as a 570, but it was it was testing. Uh, pretty much the same, same speed as same a 560, speed. which I thought was kind five, of interesting. No, 580. It's a 580. All right, let's put it back in. I think in. you missed the slot here. I think it's a slot. Ah, right. screw it. Just throw it right in there. There we go. All right. I'm going to... I'm gonna. Pow I'll tell you what. I'm going to go... Uh, Anthony, switch over to uh, the uh, Black Magic. One of the things that you should be aware of that kind of bit me is when you're using an eGPU, you can't just disconnect it. No. <laughs> you, Again, you, because the operating system is so based on using, uh, using the graphics processor to render the screen, you're basically disconnecting the it's, operating it's like, system from the rest of the world. Ah, really quickly. I don't is, know this is what why, to do. This is why Apple wants to have control over all those drivers. Now I understand yeah. why, right? So the, it, when you plug this in... Uh, it actually puts a little icon in the menu that says your eGPU is plugged in, and there's a drop-down that says, would you like to eject the right. eGPU? Would you like to remove the eGPU? And if you just pull it out, it'll go, no, 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 don't do that, please. Here, I'll show you it, it, as, as uh, it's, I rebooted this machine so you could do it. And I don't know, can you see, Anthony? You can. So here's the little disconnect AMD Radeon Pro 580. And, and you better do that before mm -hmm. you disconnect it. And by the way, it takes a while because it's in effect logging out and logging back in. It's right. shutting every process down and then logging back in to do it. Let me show you some of the benchmark results we got. We'll start, uh, we both, uh, I, I, I just to see, I ran G a Cinebench R15 and got a frame rate of nine. This is with the internal uh, uh, Radeon 560X in the uh, notebook. 96.74 frames per second. That's more than adequate as far as I'm concerned. Yep. That's a nice speed. But let's look at the Geekbench, because Geekbench actually takes a look at the uh, uh, raw processing power built into the GPU. This is the Intel motherboard GPU that comes with this MacBook. 20, just to give you a base score, the OpenCL score of 22,078. 22,000. 78. Now, let's uh, take a look at the 560. That's the internal card in here. It's a lot better. 59,683. So that's um, almost three times. That's why you never want to use a Mac Mini for anything that requires <laughs> yeah. a GPU. You, you really <laughs> want a discrete, yeah, a discrete yeah. GPU. Yep. Uh, let me try the, uh, the 570. That's the external uh, in the... Um, in, in the, I think this is the Razer Core 10. It, it identifies as a 570, but it get, gave us a result very similar to the 580 in the Black Magic. So I'm thinking maybe just misidentified it. It's probably a 580 yep. in the uh, X in both the Razer. As you can see, very similar scores: 119,000. 837 for the black magic 119,190 for the razor and for tab. some applications they're going to be able to take advantage of all of those gpus they're not yeah. going to simply be just the fastest one which is twice as fast it'll be it'll take you know something like a photo scan which which i use will say well i'll just look at all of these and start using it actually can CPU use and the intel the discrete mm -hmm. gpu inside the laptop and the external gpu yep. in fact i'm running istat pro here and you can see we can see uh, if I look at the, I see the Radeon 560X and the 580, uh, both are available. In fact, both even get used a little bit. That's the memory uh, use right And I now. think that if you plug this one in, you'd get... You think I could use it. all three? I think you can. Should we try it? Come on, plug it all in and let's just see. Let's go crazy. I mean, that's the good news about having multiple Thunderbolt 3 ports. <laughs> uh, chat room, is there any reason why I shouldn't do this? The chat room's not going to tell me. They're going to say, no, go ahead and do, do it, it, Leo. Do it, man. Do you, it. Even if they know it's a bad idea. All right. Now I have... Do is I turn that it on? Powered up? Go ahead. Power it up. Now I have possibly an e, a, a, a 580 here, a 580 here, internally a 560, and I don't know, maybe even the Intel Iris Pro graphics. I wonder if it would use all of those. Um, do I might need to reboot to really have it see everything. But you can see there is a huge difference. The internal... A GPU, the Iris Pro 22,000, whatever that unit is on Geekbench. Uh, and once we put an eGPU in here, 120,000. And possibly 240. It has. You think? Going right. to infinity and beyond. All right. We're going we're gonna to time lapse this because it's going to take me a little while. I'm going to restart the machine. So watch as I wave my hand. Machine restart.
All right, let's uh, log in and see if we can see these all. You know, I didn't even think of this. Only you would think of this, Alex <laughs> Lindsay, putting two eGPUs on here. Well, it did occur to me with this one has two uh, Thunderbolt th or Thunderbolt threes, so you could theoretically have like oh, three of these in your chain. office. I could do daisy more. Chain them and just have them all sitting. I don't know where the you key would be out. that the software was smart enough to, to thread it. out to all the GPUs. Yep. Yep. Most software is most software probably doesn't assume. But if you're buying that you three of those, three... you might have software that could do it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You could afford that kind of software. Uh, all right, let me just uh, see if iStat even uh, sees all these uh, GPUs. Um, well, lo and behold, it does. Yep. I now have a 560X, an RX 570, which, by the way, we think is the misidentified 580 in the Core yeah. 10, and the Radeon Pro 580, which is in the Blackmagic eGPU. Uh, now, unfortunately, Geekbench won't let me try all three of them at once. I think Geekbench only lets me choose one core. Um, let's go to the compute. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, it sees all four of them. So the compute device, let's make it be the 580. Should we run this and see what we get? Well, it's only going to be the 580. It won't sure. use all of them? No. So that's the problem is I need a benchmark that would see... <laughs> All four of those GPUs. Right. But something like Cinema 4D or, or you know, we'll, we'll be able to actually... It would actually access uh, those. Look, look at them all. Yeah. Look at that. That is pretty awesome. That is, that is raw power. Now, the good news is the price is right on the Core X plus a Sapphire Radeon RX 580, $580. So for the same, effectively the same processing power, uh, you're getting, uh, it's 100 bucks less than the Black Magic. If you get the Core V2 plus a Sapphire 580, that's 779.98. The Black Magic EPU eGPU is $700. Now, and the one thing that this one doesn't have is all of those extra connectors. So if you want to use this as a hub, it's a great the Black dock. Magic's a better yeah, dock. It's a great this dock. one this one is pure GPU. You've it does got, have a, a couple of HDMI ports and some uh, display ports as well as so a VGA this one, port for so, some reason. So I would say or, or this is a DVI, I think. Oh, is that DVI? Okay. <laughs> it's hard to remember now. We never see them. Anymore. I never saw that. So it's like a, you know, um, but the if I think if you want to put a bunch of monitors and connect it to it, this one's going to be a better one. Yeah. Um, it looks like up to four monitors that you could hook to it. Um, this one's going to be better if you're going to use it as a dock. Right. And you can daisy chain monitors on Thunderbolt, right? I mean, there's enough. Uh, Maybe not. Uh, you should be able to. Should be right. Yeah. 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 Uh, we only got a hundred six. The OpenCL score one hundred sixteen thousand nine hundred three. So in fact, it's a little bit slower for some reason when I have all of these hooked up. That might be an overhead problem. Right. But a Geekbench doesn't, in fact, give me a chance to test all four. But we do see all four, and if software were able to use all four... I think we need to get two more, put them on the other side. <laughs> I mean, if two work, four must work even better. I, I think there's no limit, because we can daisy-chain until uh, the cows come home. We, just need to, well, we should get eight or ten and <laughs> hook them up and see how it goes. Uh, I think in, an eGPU... By the way, this is three hundred dollars unpopulated, but you, right. there's no point in unpopulated. It's not as fast. Yeah, it's <laughs> it really doesn't run as quite as well without yeah, a video card. But it does give you the choice of the video card. The other advantage this has, besides being a little less expensive, the Razer Core Ten is upgradable. So when a new right. video card comes out from Radeon, you can use it, and it'll work. You know, presumably if Apple provides the drivers. Apple really, I think, wants this eGPU system to work. I think they're going to always support additional cards uh, because. This adds so much value to its MacBook Pro and its iMac line. They built in eGPU support, uh, last generation uh, of Mac OS. So clearly, this is something Apple will support. And I, and I do time. think that as we start to, uh, a lot of metal, to, you know, with metal and so on and so forth, I think you're going to see them take full advantage of those, yeah. those um, systems. One last question. How loud is that? Is it, is, is, can you hear it? I can hear it, but barely. It's not bad. The nice thing about the Black Magic, it's, it's very, very quiet. They've really designed this for studios, mm -hmm. in recording studios and places where you just didn't want to hear a lot of fan noise. And, and again, like the, 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 a good use for this will be 360 development um, inside of like Final Cut. If you're right. doing that, you need to render that out. That's all using GPU. Well, so. another way they're promoting this, you can plug a Vive HTC Vive headset into right. this and run whatever whatever Steam software will run, VR software will run on the Macintosh, run it with this. This is finally, uh, Apple has access to the HTC Vive. Right. So that's another good reason to get the eGPU. I'm kind of, I kind of like it. That's just a pretty little device. It's pretty. Thing. Yeah.